Hi, and welcome back. On part one of our series, uh, Advanced Waypoints, I showed you how to create an advanced waypoint while off-site. Well, today's the day where we go on-site. Warning, please make sure you recon the site prior to planning your off-site waypoint mission. This tutorial on advanced waypoint missions will apply for the Mini 4 Pro as well as the Air 3. Hi and welcome back. So we're here at the site. Uh, unfortunately, it's not the same site that we originally chose due to the high traffic and people around that area. We had to choose a different location. So we're gonna take off from this location. I've made some changes, which I'll show you now on the screen as we're speaking. And we're about to take off and head to the, head to the uh, position for the first waypoint. Typically, you can take off and then select your waypoint mission and it'll fly to the location for the first waypoint where it will begin the mission. In this case, due to the fact that I changed the location last minute, I wanted to ensure that we fly the drone there manually just in case. So we've arrived near the first waypoint. At this point, I'm going to launch the waypoint mission menu and I will select our waypoint mission to begin the flight. I'm making a last minute adjustment on the global speed. I'm increasing it from 3.5 to 4.8. Now we'll hit go to begin our mission. All right, so we're flying to the starting point. That's waypoint one. Now you can play around with these waypoints and you know, your POIs so that they make more sense especially after you've flown the mission, you may want to go back and modify that. It's usually more difficult to do when you're off-site and creating a waypoint mission, but if you're doing it on the fly, it's much easier because you won't have to worry about all these adjustments as you position your drone for each waypoint. So we are at waypoint number two, and we're facing our POI number two, while heading towards POI number, th uh, sorry, waypoint number three. The beauty of creating your waypoint mission at the site is that you can see exactly what your camera is pointing to and how you want it to fly around the subject. We're swinging around to waypoint number four now, while continuing to face waypoint or POI number two. Just a kind reminder to everyone who likes and enjoys this kind of content and the tutorials that I'm putting together, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Heading towards waypoint number five. While our camera shifts to face POI number three. Looking on the notification bell, you know what happens. Every time I release a new video, you'll be notified. 
and you won't miss one. As we pass our waypoint number five, we're continuing to face POI three as we head to waypoint six. Also drop a comment if you wanted me to create a waypoint mission on site. This way you can compare the two. As we pass waypoint six towards waypoint seven, we start facing our POI number four. So the drone is actually swinging around to face the POI number four, which is just in front of our home point. As we head to waypoint eight, we begin to face our, our POI number five, which is by the train station. I have to say it's really, really accurate Although I did this waypoint mission offsite, it's it's amazing how accurate it is. So here we are. We're facing that. We're heading towards waypoint nine. Here's the bridge right right after waypoint nine. We're facing our POI number six, and as we gradually fly over waypoints uh, or POI 6 we face POI 6 as we head to waypoint 10 we're still flying backwards but now we're going to be changing our our camera angle to face POI number 7 as we head to waypoint 11 Heading towards waypoint 12 now. Waypoint 12 will be facing POI number 8, which is the uh, train bridge. As we're flying over the bridge, we'll be taking a closer look on our POI number 8. And we swing around as we're headed towards our waypoint number 13, which is also facing our POI number 8. Now well, we're getting close to our waypoint number 14. As we spin around and head towards waypoint 15, we're facing our POI number nine. We got less than a minute or about a minute uh, before this mission is complete. We are heading towards our waypoint number 16. Continuing to face our wait, wait, uh, POI number 9 as we fly over to waypoint 17. As we reach 17 we're swinging around to face waypoint 18 and our camera is also swinging around to face POI number one which is that little desolate island that we dropped the pin on and we are 
heading towards our final waypoint, number 19, where this, the camera stop action will take place as we begin to return to home at the end of our mission. This time we'll record the drone coming back to us. As you can see, the AR has initiated and it's returning home. And get ready with my finger on the pause in case there are any issues. We're coming down. It is right on target. DJI has got it right this time on this little drone. That's perfect. All right, let me let me close everything up and we'll uh, we'll do our conclusion. Oops. Yeah, let me close everything up and we'll do our conclusion. Okay, so we're back and I thought that went really, really nicely. Um, and, uh, you know, although we had to change the location last minute, uh, it went very smooth. I had no issues whatsoever. I think this guy did a really good job. And, uh, you know, um, I think uh, the only thing I can say is that uh, when I arrived on the site, I did notice that uh, the controller needed a uh, calibration and I didn't take a chance. I did the controller calibration. I also did the calibration on this little guy uh, just to make sure that everything went smoothly and it did. Uh, and so I think, uh, you know, I'm happy with it. Uh, please, you know, leave a comment in, in uh, the comments below. Uh, let me know what you thought and uh, if there's anything else you'd like me to, you know, like, uh, investigate or check out on this little guy thanks for joining me